Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Wyndham City's live stream online Winter House Party event. My name's Stu, and I'm going to be your MC for this evening. Firstly, before we get started, in the spirit of reconciliation, I first want to acknowledge the traditional owners and first people of the lands on which Wyndham is rapidly growing, the people of the Kulin Nation, particularly the Bunurong, Wadarong, and Wurundjeri people. I pay my respects to elders past, present, and emerging. Thanks so much for joining us for this hour full of jam-packed fun. It's going, there's going to be ice, there's going to be magic, and it wouldn't be wintry fun without a, just a pinch of fire. Tonight you're going to see some amazing stuff. You're going to see an ice sculptor at work. Local artist Paul Zara creating and a masterpiece. Wyndham's very own Opal Ocean bringing us the tunes for the evening. And be sure not to miss our main acts, Mr Marmalade with magic, mystery and intrigue. And of course, our fire show performed by the amazing Jesse and Chris. It's going to be huge. If you're joining us on Facebook tonight, join in the conversation, give us a shout out, leave us some comments, throw some questions. It's going to be great. While we can't be together tonight like we would normally, uh, we're so excited to have you joining in from home. And we, uh, we follow the latest social distancing advice and we're looking after each other. We're doing arm's length stuff. We're keeping it safe. Um, without any further ado, Wyndham, let's get this show started. We're going to get it started by meeting our wonderful and amazing art, uh, <laughs> ice sculptor. It's not a sculpturist, it's a sculptor. His name is Mr. Paul Lowcock, and he's from Ice Creations. Paul! Stu, how are you? Good, mate. How are you, sir? Very well. Right here at the Cultural Centre in Wyndham. You've already started work, you're cheating. Um, but it's amazing to have you here, mate. You've been sculpting for 20 years. Correct, yeah. Tell us a bit about some of your masterpieces in the last 20 years. Oh, probably the biggest one we've done would be a life-size Holden Commodore up at the snow. <laughs> so Is that all? Just a life-size? Six metres long and one and a half wide. How long did it take you to make that? Uh, three days. So we stayed up there about four days Holy and yeah, over three days carved it up between three of us. Gee whiz, that's amazing. Now, you normally work with chainsaws. Correct. Um, you're not. You've got a helper and he's got a spatula. Yeah, these are special um, Japanese hardened steel uh, tools that are, can be imported. Um, right. They're not available in Australia. Yep. Um, and they're super, super sharp, so they can cut the ice like butter. Fair enough. Cut the ice like butter. It's looking good. Um, can you tell us what you're creating tonight? Uh, top secret, Stu. Can't say that. Can't. Give us a hint. Not just a, a hint. Point. Just a small hint. What? Uh, an just Australian, to keep them, keep them entertained. Maybe an Australian animal will set you on the path. An Australian native animal native to animal. set us on our path. All right, Wyndham, uh, it's up to you to have a bit of a guess. Let us know with comments. Paul, I'm going to let you get back to it. Thank you. Thanks for your time. We're going to check in uh, along the evening. We're going to now cross to our amazing artist and, uh, and, and see what's happening over there. Okay, we're moving. Here's a creative force behind Rook's One, inspired by music, nature, the universe and humanity. Paul's been creating art for as long as he can remember. He's a local guy and a good guy. We might have a quick yarn with him. Paul, great to have you here, buddy. Thanks, Stu. Good Arms to be here. Arms length, mate. Arms length. Distance away. Distance away. Keeping it safe, keeping it healthy. How have you been? Uh, you've been painting for a while? Uh, yes, I've been painting for about six years, but I've been doing art my whole life, really. Excellent. Tell us a little bit about... You've, you've got a bit of a head start. You know, all these people cheating. We've got a head starting ice sculptor. And a head starting uh, artist. What are we? What are we? Uh, what's the inspiration behind tonight, mate? Um, so being in lockdown, everyone was kind of locked inside. You had a little chance to get outside. So whether it was skateboard or walk, just to get a bit of sunshine. And being around Wyndham, you've got the orange belly parrot there and the rainbow lorikeet that would just be up in the trees tweeting away and just kind of inspired me, reminded me that there's more and we'll get out of this. Awesome. Thanks, Paul. And uh, and and so when when uh, when people want to follow up on you. Uh, where can they find you? This Rux One. Tell us what Rux One is. Uh, so Rux One, I'm on Facebook and Instagram, uh, at Rux One. Give a little look. Excellent. Thanks, Paul. We'll get, let you get back to it. We're going to cross now to our amazing musical duo, Opal Ocean. Good luck, buddy. Thanks, we'll see you. you soon. Oh, boys. I'm, I'm already puffed out. I've, I've, I've done three interviews and I'm puffed out. That's my okay. ISO body. Nice, uh, nice, Catching nice. up with me, guys. Sorry about that. Opal Ocean, you're both yeah. from Wyndham. Alex and Nadav, ladies mm. and gentlemen. They've been busking uh, since 2014. That's yep, right. yep, that's yeah. correct. And then international touring over the last couple of years. Yeah. Yeah, Where yeah. have you been hitting internationally? 
Uh, uh, mainly Europe yep. and uh, a, a bit of New Zealand as well. North America yeah. last year for the first time as well. Yeah. We hit Canada, so that was pretty cool. Yeah. Sweet action. Yeah. That's amazing, dude. Oh, we're pretty lucky. Uh, very lucky. <laughs> That's cool. And you're playing a couple of tracks for us tonight. Tell us about the first track. Yep. So the first track is called Mr. Stoker. And it's just kind of to set the, the theme for tonight, which is all about the kind of magic and arts. Beautiful. A bit quirky. Yeah. A bit quirky. Yeah, a bit, bit quirky, quirky for you guys. Awesome. We yeah. love quirk here in Wyndham. Absolutely, we do. Yeah. One more thing. Album. You tell me there's yes. an album. Yeah, basically, if you enjoy the music uh, you're hearing tonight, we have a new album happening. Uh, it should be out in the next two months. Yep. And uh, yeah, follow us, Opal Ocean. Uh, we are on social media. And Excellent. MySpace? Are you, have you got a MySpace? Oh, we have, no, we have a Bebo, though. Bebo? <laughs> <laughs> Don't even know what that is. No, no, right. I'm going to leave no. you to it. I think we've had enough. Um, over to you guys, Opal Ocean. Thanks for being here. Ladies and gentlemen, Opal Ocean.
amazing. There should be a rupture of applause, but it's just me going, yeah. Thanks so much, Opal Ocean. That was unreal. Um, the boys are going to be back right after our, our next performer, which is our feature, one of our featured performers. To be honest, to be fair, I've got lots of featured performers here tonight. We've got featured artists, featured duos. We've got a feature, featurist coming up who's going to be amazing. He's a magician. He's, uh, he's got one of the finest, finest manicured moustaches you've ever seen. He is from Melbourne, Melbourne proud. Uh, definitely pay attention to the magic hands, but the moustache, he won in a competition <laughs> with that moustache. I'm going to have a chat to him later. His name is uh, uh, Mr. Oh my goodness, I've forgotten. It's Mr. Mr. Oh my God, Mr. Mr. Marmalade. Oh my goodness, I'm thinking Mr. Moustache, that's my nickname for him. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mr. Marmalade.
Good evening, fellow humans out there in the cyberverse. My name is Mr. Marmalade, and it is my abject pleasure to present to you all myself. Pause for applause. People often ask me what set me on my wayward path of whimsy and wonder. It is a question that most magicians are asked at one point or another, occasionally with a hint of jealousy in the eye, but more often than not, I have a sneaking suspicion that people are just trying to figure out how to prevent their children from pursuing such a frankly deviant lifestyle. When posed with such a question, most magicians will respond with some ridiculous made up answer about a family member that never existed, showing them a trick that they never saw and changing a life that they were not having in the first place. It is cheap. It is a cynical attempt to tug at your heartstrings. And do I have a good one for you? You see, my tall tale begins with a fictional grandfather figure, a burly man with a chest like a keg and milky eyes that seem to see more than he would lead us to believe. One day, when I was very young, he beckoned me to his side with a curl of his finger and a smirk in his wrinkles. He claimed on that day, amongst other things, to have power over the very stuff that stuff was made of. And on top of that, he was willing to prove it. So he sent me in search of a brown paper bag and a bottle positing that these ordinary objects would somehow work wonders under his mysterious influence. A short journey later, during which I learned a little about life, a lot about love, 
and the true meaning of friendship. I returned with the objects requested. Thanking me kindly, he proceeded to nestle one recyclable within the other. Whispered some magical words. Some magical words. And made what I now know to be a magical pass. <laughs> and with the pass performed, the bottle was gone. Vanished. Disappear. Other synonyms for it. it's not there anymore. Now, I was as amazed as I was not very bright, which is to say, alarmingly so. When the shock had subsided and I regained my composure, I pondered the mystery that I had just witnessed. There was just no way that a single solitary thought shambled through the ghost town of my tiny little mind. But Grandpa, I spoke slow so as to make no mistake. You can make the bottle vanish for sure, but can you bring it back? Back. Damn it. To this day, I do not know if he cuffed me for cursing or idiocy. Perhaps it was both, but regardless, in one smooth motion, he gave me a mild concussion and performed the magical pass. With the pass performed, the bottle was back. Year after year, this ritual repeated, Grandpa benignly blowing my mind and me wide-eyed in wonder, growing gradually dimmer from successive head trauma, until one fateful day a stranger sidled through, sunset silhouetting him against the saloon of my brain. He picked up the tumbleweed as it tumbled along, and he whispered to it, He's holding the bottle, you moron. Well, I stood agape. My whole world crashed apart into place. After all of these years, there was a not inconsiderable quantity of egg on my face. Grandpa, I cried, you dastardly man. I see through you and your elaborate scam. No longer will you pull your wizened old wool over me. You're holding the bottle, obviously. And Grandpa, he just smiled a smile he'd been waiting years to deliver. And I still remember his words, which to this day make me shiver. He said, I remember what it was like when I thought I knew everything as well. <sighs> he was a smug old man, he was. does not fall very far from the tree. Now, I don't have a lot of time left with you here in the cyberverse, so I'll keep this swift. But everyone expects a couple of things when encountering a magician. One of them is a trick with a deck of cards. So, uh, here. Nailed it. And the other is a trick with a rabbit. Well, I don't have a rabbit. Yet. It's good to have goals. This is a steel spring rabbit trap. Now, you will notice that it has no teeth, and that is because it is designed to rend flesh, break bones. It is illegal to own and use in Australia, but I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm kind of going for a bad boy image. Pause for laughter. People usually laugh there. Now, excuse me for a moment.
Traditionally, this is the part where I hand out the deck of cards to have one selected and then made unique. I promise you that I can perform this with a live, breathing audience and I cannot wait to get back to it. But for now, you will simply have to take my word as a magician that I am creating one very unique card, a joker. Hey, Opal Ocean, say a number real quick. <laughs> Did we get that? Did we get that on camera? That's amazing. That is a, that is a six right there. That's two sixes, actually. <laughs> An ordinary deck of cards. One card that is distinctive, unique, and special. Just like you guys. <laughs> and a steel spring rabbit trap. With these meager tools, it is my delight to present to you the world's most dangerous card trick. I got it. Thank you very much, humans of the Cyberverse. My name is Mr. Marmalade. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram. I'm available for weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs. Enjoy the rest of the show, the rest of your evening, and the rest of your lives. Good night. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. That was outrageous. I can't believe it. Mr. Marmalade, let's get him back out. I want to have a yarn. Mr. Marmalade, back to the stage. Good sir. Hey, man. That oh, was unreal. Oh, thank you very much. And apologies, I called you Mr. Mustache. That's all right, actually. If you Google Mr. Mustache, this still comes up, so that's totally fine. Winner, winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, so tell us, you, you, obviously, uh, you've been doing mag magic for ages. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, pushing just past a decade now. I'm kind of, I'm really dug in. I have almost no other marketable Long skills. Long service leave as well. That'd be amazing, actually. You'd be surprised. The benefits are fairly slim as a wizard. <laughs> what was your first trick? Uh, first trick, first trick, first trick. Um, I just went straight in for this, actually. Yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah, the learning curve was pretty steep, but uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun. It was pretty amazing. <laughs> I, I was watching with this face. Do you get that face a lot? I was... <laughs> yeah, I do. I, I, I learned the trick so that I could justify getting that face in general. Yeah, yeah. Outrageous. Um, you talk shows. You do have a show coming up. Uh, yes. I've got a show this Friday or Saturday, the Melbourne Magic Festival has an online gala that is absolutely well worth seeing. There'll be a lot of uh, world-class magicians there. It's going to be great. Excellent. Thanks again for being here, Mr. Marmalade. It's been a real pleasure. Um, we're now going to um, have Opal Ocean play us uh, some more amazing tunes yeah. while we, uh, <laughs> while we check in on all our amazing artwork and ice sculpture. Again, thanks, Mr. Marmalade. Uh, absolutely amazing. I think we do this one these days. Heck yeah, human thanks, contact. Bro. Over to you, Opal Ocean. <laughs>
My goodness, Opal Ocean, ladies and gentlemen. How good was that? Guys, please follow them on their social stuff, their Facebooks, their Instagrams, all that stuff. They were amazing. Boys, thanks so much for being here. And I know uh, to helping out the magician as well, Mr. Marmalade, was, was really greatly appreciated too. Um, and good luck with the new album as well. And, and, and good luck as gigs start uh, coming up as well as we ease out of restriction. Opal Ocean, ladies and gentlemen. And how good is all the artwork looking? The ice sculpture, our paintings coming along so well. Thanks for all the comments. Thanks for all the guesses. Keep them coming. We're now up to our last performance tonight. Things are getting hot in the hot tub. They're going to make you sweat. I think that's a bit of a James Brown reference or maybe an Eddie Murphy one. I don't know, but we're going to get hot uh, right here on the stage with our amazing fire performers from Roustabout Entertainment. We've got Jesse and we've got Chris. The stage is yours, guys.
How spectacular was that? Thanks so much, Jesse and Chris from Roustabout Entertainment, our fire performers, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness gracious. What better way to social distance than with a, a flaming hot jousting stick, right? My goodness. That's pretty much it, folks. What an awesome night we have had. Um, thanks to all our amazing entertainers. Uh, it's just been amazing. Obviously, it's been a really hard time uh, for entertainers uh, more recently, so it's been a real pleasure to have uh, all our artists uh, here tonight, um, and we wish them luck uh, in the next, uh, the next stage as we ease out of restrictions as well. Um, before we finish, though, we need to check in on our artwork, so we're going to go and check out our amazing ice sculpture right this second um, with Mr. Paul Lowcock. Uh, he's, he's been working tirelessly you guys have been guessing what it is and some of you have actually guessed correct it's uh, our, our wonderful very own dance of the platypus by a wonderful woman by Anne Ross if you guessed right absolutely congratulations no prize for you um, but good on you thanks for participating in that as well um, look guys uh, as I said before this is uh, we're winding up but what we want to know we want to know what you thought about the event so if you can log into the Wyndham uh, website wyndham.vic.gov.au website forward slash winter survey and give us your feedback we'll really appreciate it um, because we're going to be keep rolling these sorts of things out I'm sure um, but while we are on lockdown and stuff make sure you check out the free online events that are happening over over the holiday period, you can check out the Wyndham Together website because there's a heap of stuff happening with youth services are doing an online uh, holiday program. There's story times at the Werribee Zoo and the Wyndham Libraries are running whole bunches of events. So please check them out. Um, it will certainly be great. And uh, while we're at it, um, there's, there's another project called Kidstrument where kids get to create their own instruments and then they'll be playing like Opal Ocean in no time. Um, but that's a, that's a really great initiative as well on the Wyndham Together website forward slash Kidstrument. Um, and please, guys, I know we're doing really hard, but please try and support local business as well. Um, we're all been doing it tough and they have certainly been doing it tough and they're start, we're starting to ease out of restriction. So go and support your cafes, your restaurants, your pubs, your butchers, your grocers um, and, 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 and keep our business local. We'll really appreciate it. But other than that, that's it for me. Thanks again. Again for, uh, for uh, joining us here at the Winter House Party. My name's been Stu. Stay safe, take care of each other, and uh, just be kind, hey? And I'll see you next time, Wyndham. Cheers. Oh, yeah. And we're going to check out the, uh, the, uh, the painting with the lights out. Thank you.